Good morning, and welcome to this time of prayer for Wednesday, the 19th of August, 2020. Let us just take a moment to gather our thoughts in prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night is past, and the day lays open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our canticle for this morning is a song of God's glorious name. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised. Out of the mouths of babes at the breast, you have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I, can, when I consider your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what are mortals that you should be mindful of them, mere human beings that you should seek them out? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under their feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm for this morning is Psalm number 77. Psalm 77. I cry aloud to God. I cry aloud to God and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. By night, my hand is stretched out and does not tire. My soul refuses comfort. I think upon, I think upon God and groan. I ponder and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I, was, I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. My soul searches for understanding. Will the Lord cast us off forever? Will he no more show us his favor? Has his loving mercy clean gone forever? Has his promise come to an end forever? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up his compassion and displeasure? And I said, my, gr my grief is, in, is this, that my right hand of the Most High has lost its strength. I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate upon all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O Lord, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who worked wonders and declared your power among the peoples. With a mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, you, O oh, oh God. The waters saw you and were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water. The skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the ground. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea, and your paths in the great waters, but your footsteps were not known. You led your people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Canticle, A Song of the Word of the Lord. Seek the Lord while he be, may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For your thoughts are not our thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, 
seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our intercessions for this morning. For the day and the tasks which lay before us. For the world and its needs, especially remembering those areas which are touched by war and strife. For all who are sick in body, mind, or spirit. For those in the midst of famine or disaster. We pray for the victims of abuse and violence, intolerance and prejudice. We pray for those who are bereaved. We pray for all who work in the medical and healing professions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for God's healing grace upon Bob Honders, Deborah, Elena, Pauline, Velma, Nancy, Sarah, James, Angela, Grace, Marjorie, Alota, Yvonne, Gord, Catherine, Richard, Stephen, Shirley M, Luca, Carol G, Carrie and Matthew, Jacob, and to those who are known to you alone. In our congregational prayer cycle, we pray for Lorraine and George Pennock, Sarah and Jonathan Plage, Thelma Robar, Carolyn Roberts, and Ed and Estella Rose. By way of blessings and thanksgiving, we give thanks for our warden, Sandra Wingett and Jim Beckett, for their leadership and ministry to the church. We pray for those who are coping with the coronavirus. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick and lift up all who are brought low that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, O Lord, we lift our own prayers and petitions, which weigh heavy on our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you promise to your beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come eternal life. For you, Father, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. This is our collect or prayer for this week. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and sent into our hearts the spirit of your Son. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that all people may know the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless the work of our hands this day. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for sharing this time of prayer with me this morning. Have a great day ahead. Amen.